My final verdict on this issue and after my six months of usage, Starlink has proven itself for me. It is not cheap, but it is dependable. And in Nigeria, dependability is premium, something you can rely on something you can get back to and you can say yes. Now, recently we had a program and um, I took my ODU out there for the program to be able to stream it online. And for the first day, you imagine when you're talking and what you have spoken comes five, five minutes after. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but then it was coming slowly and very bad. So I had to take my Starlink. I came home, unmounted the Starlink and took it there. We never had any network EU since then till the end of the program so if i say that dependability is premium it is premium for me what i noticed immediately speeds are not always crazily high of course but they are consistent consistency is the key for starlink latency is generally low and that is fine for those of us who upload video upload is far more reliable than mobile networks peak hours don't affect it the way it affects mtn airtel or glow once it's working it just keeps working that is it now this is not speed test this is streaming uploading downloads real work and um, everything in between now let's put that in nigerian context most people struggle to afford 100 gig per month i was doing one to three terabyte every month without thinking about it because it is unlimited and it is just fifty-seven thousand naira yes i do streaming every day I stream every day. So you see why I go with Starlink every time and any time. So I pay 57,000 naira flat and now I'm running on credit. For my type of usage, Starlink Mini didn't just make sense. Actually, it actually saved me money. Now the real downside, power dependency. No light, no internet, unless you have backup. You saw the video I did as regards the Starlink Mini. Using my DIY power house to be able to power the Starlink Mini for 30 hours. Starlink Mini proved that Starlink works. Starlink standard is simply the next step. Maybe I will still get the performance, but I doubt if I will. Now, if you may ask, who should buy the Starlink Mini? Let me be very clear. You should consider Starlink Mini if you live in an area with poor cellular internet. You want truly unlimited data. You work remotely or stream a lot. You are tired of data anxiety. You can afford the upfront cost of Starlink Mini. You have backup power because if you don't have that one, you will suffer as though you have no internet network provider. 